so what we're going to show today is a little bit of the work that we've done on touch, although this extends to the work that we've done in speech and ink, all building on a foundation over, over many years of work. So Julie's going to show some of the touch work in Windows 7. So right, what I have right here is a HP TouchSmart. This machine is in the market today. It's under $2,000. It's a pretty cool machine. And what I'm going to show you is how we have augmented the user experience using touch. So you saw before when I showed you those jump lists. I'm going to use my finger to, to bring up the jump list. And you might notice there's more space between the items. There's 25% more space here, making it easier for me to go ahead and click with my finger, using my finger as a mouse, in that space. Now here I am in Word 2007. It doesn't know anything about Touch or Windows 7. But we have repowered all the mouse commands with Touch. So even though it doesn't know anything about it, I can go ahead and scroll, I can go ahead and zoom, and do things that Word can do with the mouse with touch. Now, if you want, if your program understands a little bit more about touch, you can do other things. So here, I'm going to go ahead and launch Internet Explorer. I'm on Live Search. And Internet Explorer knows about the on-screen keyboard. So here, I can go in and do a search. I have a search for Windows 7. Oh, and the predictive text on the on-screen keyboard, I've typed that before a couple times. Go ahead and choose that. Space 7, enter. And now when I click links, let's go to, I can use things like flicks and gestures to get back and forth on my page. So I go back with a flick, I can go forward with a flick. So very quickly and with just a few, great. <laughs> <laughs> so Windows 7 supports a whole range of gestures and a whole range of mouse movements that can become gestures. Two other programs that are, have been tuned for touch are the, in the Windows Explorer. Here's the preview. You can quickly and easily scroll, get a little feedback when I'm down at the end there. And a new, program, a new refacing of Microsoft Paint with the new ribbon. We've been working with the Office team on bringing the ribbon to Windows. We've also decided that once every 15 years or so, we're going to update the applets in Windows. So, uh... <laughs> Whether they need it or not, right? Whether they need it or not. <laughs> so you'll find things like a new calculator, new word pads supporting uh, the open document format and open XML, and uh, all kinds of new things there. But here I am in Paint. And the ribbon interface makes it very easy for me to use it with touch. I'm going to go ahead and take a picture from here and drag it over. And then I'm going to use, bring it and dock it at the top so you can see it. And then I'm going to use the brushes to go ahead and pick the size. And I'm going to say hello from Seattle on my postcard. And since this is multi-touch, I'll make a little heart. <laughs> so those are some examples of applications that don't know anything about touch, but can be augmented with touch automatically through the mouse commands. Some applications that have learned about gestures and programmed specifically for scenarios in touch. And then there will also be applications that use touch as a primary way of input. Here, you might have seen this on the internet before. Here is an application you can play with on the surface tables. You can also play with it in the pavilion. And it makes it really easy for me to play and interact very easily and move around in the screen in an interactive way. And we think there will be lots of very cool applications coming out, multiplayer applications. There's a Pong game over in the pavilion where you can play multiplayer with touch on the screen. And it's been a lot of fun to think about new ways that applications can work using this new hardware innovation.